Dinner's getting cold. Coming, Dad. Well, hurry up. I shouldn't have to call you three times before you listen to me. What are you talking about? I called you to come down here three times before you answered. Maybe you should talk louder. What? <laughs> Nothing. Sorry, I was just doing homework. Oh, all right. I thought I told you to do that right after you got home. Well, I had a lot, okay? So, Dad, uh, Jeremy Stoltz's family invited us to dinner, and <laughs> I was thinking since we don't have any other plans for Christmas, we could go over there. What? Oh, no. I don't think that would be a good idea. I can't afford time to get away from work, and we don't have any presents for them. Oh, come on, they don't care if we have presents for them or not, and don't you have the day off tomorrow? Yeah, but I have to be working at home. I'm so far behind on everything. Lame. Hey, I wish it was different, but I can't take time off of work right now. I could lose my job if I went to a dinner with friends. Oh, please. It's true. No, no, I totally believe you. You can't just take a few hours off of your precious work to spend time with your son and your friends. Don't you be sarcastic with me. It's not funny. I never said it was funny. Like I said, I totally get it. You're still no joking matter. You're still being sarcastic with me. Stop. What are you talking about, Dad? I was just talking about how I completely understand your situation. I know what you're saying, Adam, and I would like you to stop. I'm not in the mood for joking around. I wasn't joking. I thought we were having a normal conversation. Great. Just great. Now you're back-talking me, too. Back-talking? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb, Adam. You know what you're doing. No, really, Dad. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't have the time or patience to deal with you. If you don't stop back talking, you go to your room right now. Okay. Okay. Whatever you say. <coughs> okay. You better. <laughs> Can you stop? What? Humming. Oh, I was humming. Sorry, I must not have noticed. Adam, can you just stop? You know what you're doing, you just need to stop. Okay, sure, Dad. Whatever you say. Damn it, Adam! I have asked you again and again to be respectful. I tried being nice with you, I tried being harsh with you, but you just keep going and going. Maybe you don't deserve to be respected. Have you ever thought of that? Maybe you don't deserve respect. <clears throat> I don't re deserve respect? Is that what you think? I am your father, you respect me. Go to your room! Oh, sure, send me away just like you always do. Ever since Mom died, you just send me away like nothing. You just, you never listen to me. Don't you dare bring your mother into this. Fuck you, Dad! so stressful. My boss has been yelling at me because I'm really far behind schedule. There's paper stacked up everywhere. I make a fire and, well, you know, I hope you can understand. Adam, Adam, can you talk to me? All right, that's okay. Um, you can talk to me when you're ready. Anyway, I did manage to get my shop, Christmas shopping done. I think you like what I got you this year. 
Did you give me anything? I know it might be a little too late, but maybe the souls could come over for Christmas at our house. That might be okay. Dad? What is it, son? What do you think? Adam, please don't cry. I... Just tell me what's going on. Jesus Christ, Dad, do you even know she's gone? Well, of course I do, but I... She's gone, Dad. Mom's gone, and she's not coming back. Do you get that? Yes, I know she's gone. I just as sad as you are, but... You never cried. <laughs> you never talked to me about it. Rose is the one who told me. I needed you, and you shut me out. Now you're sitting here talking about Christmas presents like nothing happened. Face it, Dad, Christmas isn't happening this year. How can it? I did cry, you know. I cried so much. And I miss your mother more than you could ever know. I love that woman and she was stolen from us. I wanted to talk to you about it, to comfort you, but I just didn't know how. I didn't know how to deal with my own grief either. I just put myself into my work. I'm sorry I couldn't be a better father for you. I really am. But no matter how sad we are, or how much pain we feel, we must move on. That's what she would have wanted. She would have wanted us to be sad on Christmas. She wanted us to be happy. So that's what we should do. Tomorrow, we'll celebrate Christmas remembering all the good times we had with her. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, that sounds good. Come here. I love you, son.